What's going on, you guys? This be your boy, Scattered by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. What is going on, you guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day, because I plan on doing the same. Today is Thursday. Today is payday for me, honey. Okay, period. I already bought my plane ticket to Atlanta for the Kate Michelle concert. Me and Jamar are attending. Yes, honey. Yes, indeed. Okay. But anyhow, we're about to go ahead and get into today's mess. Now, as you guys already know, I've been covering all of the escape and um, all the escape drama, but now there's some SWV versus escape drama. And um, shout out to my girl, Really B, because she's the reason why I found this video, and I'm sure she won't mind me using it. But apparently, SWV went on Instagram Live to discuss the drama between them and escape. And they said how they truly felt about the situation. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to watch the video and then we're going to come back with our opinions. So let's go ahead and get into the mess, you guys. Let's get into it. Have a level of responsibility to get on here and just tell people out of just the crazy stuff. And I don't really be on Twitter, but Twitter is easy for me to type on Twitter. So, you know, shit, I had some extra time. <laughs> I'm on the day. I had some extra, extra time. <laughs> Who is Akbar, though? You arguing with somebody named Akbar. Who is that? I don't know. Oh. Candy's cousin. But Steve Harvey said, you know, we need to leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. We need to leave it alone. I mean, yeah, I mean, not in a bad way, but in a good way. I, I didn't know. I didn't know who it was. Oh Lord, 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 Lord! All I, I mean, you know, I, I, I understand whatever. I mean, that's that's Candy's cousin or whatever. But I understand you want to defend your family, but defend them from what? I ain't say I shit about my, my boob. I ain't make no personal nothing. Like defend them from what? <laughs> Tamar, I got into it, so Tamar brought it back up and capped him for shade at Candy. Okay. So what? So, the, yeah, what that, that got to do, to do with, with us? <laughs> right. What does right. that have to do with us? <laughs> Not a motherfucking thing. I'm just so confused. I'm like, oh hey, my so god. Like, we like and we like the song. She did a nice song. Um, like, I'm trying to read. Hey Steve, I'm trying to read some of these comments while y'all. Y'all talk. No, we're not worried, ma'am. Uh, um, I'm about to pull up again. What they got to do with us? We love you too, Marvin. I think the Marvin. internet against y'all. Well, oh, I don't think the internet is against us. Well, I mean, we didn't do anything, so I, I think we did we're nothing not taking wrong. responsibility for nobody's mess. That's not what we, we do. did. Nothing wrong. We didn't say anything. We did not insult anybody, you know, but we all have a level of responsibility when we put information out there and, and we have a right to defend ourselves. We didn't come, we didn't come to do the show to be nasty funky or whatever we came to do it with the open heart and mind the guys do it all the time so we figured hey it's the girl's chance let's go out here and let's rock this because it's never been done before yeah. but I, I, what i don't work. understand is how did everything end up being about money like we, we never even had a meeting about no money <laughs> We were asked to do a collaborative performance with Escape based off Versus. So we went in there thinking it would be like Versus. When we did Versus, there was no headliner, was there? Um, so right. unless we're doing no. an Escape tour, and that was another thing. When people say, you've opened for them before. We did. We opened for Escape on their tour on other shows. But this was different. This was supposed to be a collaborative tour with SWB and Escape. They didn't tell us we would be performing for Escape or with them on their tour. They said a collaborative tour where we're both on stage at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how we would be cutting their pay. I don't know how they're giving us a raise up. Yeah. See, that's the Listen, problem. Listen, and, and, that, and that's another thing. I really don't understand where that came from. Like, all of a sudden, this talk about money is, is out there. We never asked. We would never... We would have did the shit for free because we believe so much in the movement. This movement, I, I, I went, I, I, don't listen to her. I, I, this movement I, I, meant more 
to me than 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 any dollar sign because it would it this would have been some real for the culture yeah you know that that for the culture I said it before that shit was that huh? I'm gonna pay my car note. <clears throat> Yeah, the culture <laughs> don't pay my, my mortgage. I ain't doing She's that. So my, <laughs> my dog is off the chain. Oh, this dog, God, I'm no more, no more. My dogs are, but I, dogs I just, are I just don't rude. understand how, yeah. how the money thing came into play because we never discussed any money. But I think the money thing came into play to kind of, you know devalue us they make they said they make more than us if they if we make the money equal they will be taking a pay cut how lower your pay they were trying to find a reason to cut you anyway <laughs> wow right i, I just you know I, I just wanted the people to kind of <laughs> understand you know from from our it's perspective that it's point. it's never about any money. Hey, in, fact, we, in fact, there were times since we on the, the headlining thing, there were times we were headliners and we let groups go on after us. That's how we, it, it's mm -hmm. not important. That's true. It's, 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 not, yeah. it's not a big deal Trip. to us. We never, any promoter out there says everybody got relationships with promoters. Ask them, do we give them a fight? No. We go and do our job. We love our fans and that's what that's who we do this for. Honest to God, because whoo, it's rough out here, guys. It's rough out here. It just got crazy when we were told one thing that we were gonna co-headline. It would be like a one twelve jagged edge type of show, and then we get out there and it's well, <laughs> we want to headline. Mm -hmm. Like, well, what happened to mm -hmm. what we were told? <laughs> Yeah. It's home. like when they're not fighting each other, they're trying to tell us we're not shit. Oh, what was it? We're not relevant. <coughs> yeah, pretty much. <coughs> we're not relevant because we don't have to use the policy. That's just as upstairs. Okay. Yeah. Cousin Tony, okay. you want to say hi to the people? Somebody say, what up? What up? What up? What up? Mike, check one, what two. Please don't do that shit. <laughs> so so y'all wanna y'all have any questions out there? Do we need to clear anything up? Your comment? No, do it again. <laughs> Somebody might say you stay eating something, Taj. Oh, I'm a, a greedy. <laughs> greedy <laughs> Look, I'm being good today. I'm eating sugar free candy. <laughs> I oh, he said, somebody said, tell Cousin Tony to rap for us. <laughs> no, no, no. Please oh, don't. Lord. <laughs> uh -uh. The shade room started all like, this. Like, your, your biggest fan, Coco, said, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't tell him that. People <laughs> say <laughs> what? Somebody said, no sense. It's supposed to be 50-50. It should, because we were yeah it was really it an wasn't. interactive show they did a song we did a song work on the you thing. know it wasn't even a headlining kind of show it really wasn't it was an integrated show if you guys go back and look at what jagged edge and 112 did that's what we were trying to accomplish so we don't really understand how it ended up being like a like we listen let me just make this make this clear like we know our value, we know their value. We're both valuable. We're both amazing. But you can't water down our amazing. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't, right. Like, why can't we all just be amazing and dope at the same time? Like, it can't be that that mm, that that ain't gonna sit right with nobody because they're gonna defend that, and and so are we. But that's not what the the problem was. The problem was that it it just got out of hand, and it just this conversation about this headlining thing which was never it was never supposed to be a headlining anything that's what it was hey, made to do. Huh? Uh, i'm saying hi to people hey Sha boogie <laughs> yes it was always supposed to be a co-headlining yeah situation so we, just, we just wanted to clarify that and and one thing for sure two things for certain 
You know, SWV had a, a well on you machine since 2005. Okay, nobody controls our coming, nobody controls our going but us. Nobody controls our money. We get money everywhere. So, so I, I just want you guys to understand that, you know, oh my God, it, it's just real whack. But I think sometime in the future, we're going to make this tour happen. We're going to make it happen. <laughs> Shit, come on. Oh my God. I Wait, oh yeah. Damn, are y'all reading it? How can you... My son just said it's bedtime, Ma. I'm <laughs> using Eric's smile. I might say, yeah, but the difference is just because I follow you don't mean uh was it tension it. during the actual filming? Yeah, what you saw was was what you saw. Yeah. <laughs> it was tension. Weird. Come on here to bash nobody. It was it was weird. Just, this is it's fun. I haven't been on on uh, IG live with y'all in forever. Hi. I know. I know. <laughs> I hate, I hate like, we first of all, Lily, where the hell you going? You got face and everything. I ain't got no face. That's why I got my glasses. I put my lipstick on. She <laughs> put her lipstick on and she that got lip, her, you know, yeah. she always put that lipstick on. Bless y'all and take off this wig. Show oh, all this great God. hair. <laughs> Oh my God. I, I just, um, I, I don't know. I, this shit was bothering me all day long. Like I, I just got sick. I hate it when I mess up and do this. I am so. <laughs> anyway, but that was um, SWV and Escape addressing some of the drama that has gone down between them and Escape. And as a person that loves both SWV and Escape, because I promise you, I really promise you, I love both groups the same. Okay. I love them the same. I, 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 oh God, you don't understand. Like I love SWV. I love Escape. And, and I watched Escape Still Kicking It. I watched SWV Reunited. As you can see, I, I reviewed SWV Reunited in the past when they first came out with the show. So that goes to show you my love for this group. Like they're always in my top 10 of my um Apple replays at the end of every year. They're always in my top 10, both SWB and Escape. They're always in my top 10. I listen to them frequently. I listen to them daily. I love SWB and Escape. I do think that it is absolutely um, a shame that they cannot come together and do something big. You know what I mean? Like, SWV and Escape would be a bomb ass tour, and I would love to go and see them in tour because I've seen Escape on tour, but I've never seen SWV, and I would love to see them. Like I want to be in a crowd, and I want to sing "You're Always on My Mind" and downtown, and you know, week, and you know, anything you wanna do, I am gonna try to. Boy, my body's just for you. Like I want to see, I want to hear. All of that stuff. I want to be in a crowd. I want to. I want to sway to the side and all that other shit. Like I want to do all that because I love SWV and Escape. I love it, and I do think that while Candy and Tiny do have a point, I feel like they fed into the fans, and I feel like the fans and the blogs are making this bigger than what it needs to be. Bad enough, it played out on the show, but now that you got the fans talking in, you know, certain people are getting attacked on social media, and then, you know, the people that's being attacked feel like they gotta, you know, make a statement and say this and say that, and then feel like they gotta respond to everything. So, now it creates division, and it creates a divide. When these two groups were actually pretty decent friends like you know you see candy and tiny they were really really close with todd you know coco and tasha have a really good relationship so i this is probably one of the reasons why they didn't want to do this show because they knew the drama that would come with it and it's like i said as a person that love both groups i would only i can only hope that one day they can get this right and they can be able to do this tour most definitely i feel like um when it all boils down to it, um, at the end of it all, um, it's just, I don't know. It is what it is. But, um, I, I, I mean, I do understand SWV's point, though. I do understand where they're coming from when it comes down to it. Because 
they came on thinking, okay, this is going to be a, 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 a show. This is going to be it. You know, I love it. Girls, I mean, the guys do this all the time. Now it's time for the girl groups to come together and do a show with just, you know, all day, all night, whatever. I thought that was a, a great idea. It would definitely be a great idea. So I just feel like at the end of the day, I understand why SWV is feeling the ways that they're feeling. Definitely feel like that. You know what I mean? I definitely feel like that. So I get exactly where they're coming from. And I, I could never take their feelings away. I could never take their feelings away because they feel the same way. Because to be honest, I'm a person that loves collaborative efforts, right? As you can see, I have a lot of collaborative efforts on my platform. You know, we got Roaster Review with me, T, and Josiah. We got Boys Night Out with me, T, Josiah, Jamar, and Maddie. We got the prelude with me and Jamar, which was the birth of all my panels. Then, you know, we got the Whether You Like It or Not panel with myself and T, Josiah. You know, we got Sakina and Really B and Ya. That's a collaborative effort. And when I do collaborative efforts, I just want to make sure that everybody has their share. When I first did the Whether You Like It or Not panel with the original group, it was a lot of us up there, honey. It was about nine of us, I believe. It was me, T, Joe, Jamie, Nisi, Jaylee, Alex, um, yeah, I know I'm missing somebody, but it was nine of us on one panel. And, um, at the time, because I was doing it, I did not know that it was going to turn into what it has turned to today. So, I was trying to come up with an idea because I did not know how to pay them. You feel what I'm you feel what I'm saying? So when um the girls went off and they started doing the Ooh Ladies First panel and I saw how they were rotating it so everybody can be able to get a piece of the pie. I was like, "Okay, I get it. I get it." So that's the way they do it. Everybody can get paid, everybody get a chance to host. It don't have to be on one person's platform. Everybody gets rotated, everybody gets paid. So when I came back for the second one, not I wasn't trying to dick ride out their idea, but what I wanted to do was make sure that everybody got a piece of the pie because at the end of the day, it's the whether you like it or not panel. Everybody brings something to the table. And when we did it the second time around, I was hosting it for most of the time alone. But then when we got around to the third season of the panel, I'm like, look, all y'all got to host because all y'all need to get paid and I need a break. So everybody gets a chance to host it and do whatever they feel with it. Everybody get a check. That's how it was for Roast Review. I wanted to make sure that me, T, and Josiah got a check. Now, the only reason why Boys Night Out isn't rotated because they didn't want to rotate it. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know, as a collaborative effort, I want to make sure that everybody gets what they're supposed to get. And when it's a collaborative effort, it's about everybody. It's not just about you. It's about everybody. And I understand where SWV is coming from. And I will say that it probably makes people look at Escape as if they're being, you know, disrespectful or being greedy or money hungry because that's all I've been seeing all over social media. So I get it. But I love both groups. And hopefully at some point they all can get it together and do this tour. Hell, put TLC on the tour too and have somebody open. Like, Mm, have somebody like, like I said, Ari Lennox or somebody open it up. I don't know. But however, that's all I got for this. With that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share my video. And also, um, be sure to, um, uh, oh, shit, be sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below in the description box. With that being said, you guys, I am out of here. If you're watching the premiere, make sure you're leaving blue hearts in the chat for my girl, Danita Rashawn. I'm out of here, you guys. Until the next video, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye, y'all. What's up guys, it's your boy Tramel. I just wanted to say that I have a new project that's out. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's on all streaming platforms. I would hope that you would go and check it out. It's a really good feel of an album. It's got everything you need and more. It's got R&B, it's got a little bit of pop, it's got a little bit of hip hop. It's everything that you need and more. It's out, all streaming platforms, like I said, please check me out and you can also follow me at i am underscore tramel that's i am underscore t-r-a-m-e-l check me out hope to hear from you